Well, hello everyone. This is Austin from MySalus. I serve here at MySalus as the Director of Customer Success. Today we're going to be reviewing, this is going to be a high level, kind of quick video guide, if you will, on the new results screen. So the results screen, the functionality of this, and I'm sharing my screen here right now. Um, right now I'm on the desktop. However, this new results screen is basically going to be a way or a better method of being able to differentiate between an order, which is something ideally, you know, that's something that it, an, an MA or, or a nurse or someone is, is drawing something, right? Or that's something that's going to the uh, front desk. It's something, an order is something prior to any labs happening or any kind of results coming back, right? So the, the orders in effect, are basically going to stay exactly the same. If you place an order, someone is still going to process that order and then close that order. Now the kind of the, the new little object that's been added in here now is the results feature. So the results feature is now going to be kind of a, a, a cue, if you will, to show you where the results are at in the entire process. So if you look in the upper left corner, in the My Task list, normally you'll have worked out of orders, and that will continue to be the same. However, you'll now see results are an option. So I'm actually going to go ahead and select the results uh, task list. And this is basically kind of practice-wide, if you will, right? So for my entire practice, I have five buckets that I can look at. I have open results received. So that's that very top one here at the top. This is basically going to be any results that have come in, and this is open, right? Someone may have reviewed it, someone may not have. They just have not been closed. The second one is open but pending results, right? So this is basically going to be kind of your, your cue here to see, okay, we don't have any results yet on this. These are still hanging out there in the open. So that's gonna give you a lot of visibility into this um, aspect of this. And then you have three buckets here for closed or, uh, results, I'm sorry. So the closed completed, those are ones that have just been completed out. They have results in there and they also have findings entered into there. However, you have two additional buckets that, that are closed right? So someone can theoretically close a result, but there are no findings, or you could close it and there are no results in there. So that's actually going to show you at a high level, okay, are, is, did someone close something and we don't have results yet, or did we close something and never put in findings? That's going to give you 100% visibility into that from there. However, you'll probably notice I had one result here in, the, uh, in my open queue with received results. So you can see at a high level, you'll see what the orders were, when it was ordered, who the patient is. I can even see who the provider is, uh, what the lab was, um, who was assigned to the, as a processor. Um, and I can also see if any findings have been entered. So if these findings, the abnormal or findings, have not been touched, those will be blank. If there is not a next appointment, you'll also see that this next appointment box here is blank, okay? Now, if there have been findings added, either abnormal or normal, then we'll see either that check mark or this little exclamation mark. So I'll go ahead and open this. So viewing the result that has come back from the lab is gonna look, in, for the most part, it's gonna look exactly the same, right? So everything is gonna look the same. However, when we add our findings here, right, we can see, yes, that some um, findings have been added here in the past, just like normal. So as a provider, I can actually send this, you know, I can mark this normal, um, you know, as I, as I want to, um, or I can mark it abnormal. And at that point, the order is probably going to stay closed, okay? So that's one concept in here that is gonna stay the same. The only concept that is different is in this, at the bottom here, we have kind of this new area that has result processor. 
Okay, so that concept is just like an order processor, but in terms of this, this is gonna be an indicator that hey, someone needs to do something with these results. So this result processor here, you're, as soon as I flip this over to this processor, this is gonna go right into the upper left side here into their results queue. Okay, so that's gonna be something that, kind of a, a new concept here, if you will, okay? So basically, this is just telling us there's results, the order in the pass was completed, this is basically the entire life of this result after it has come back from the lab, okay? However, if this is normal, we can go ahead and set the result status to closed and go ahead and save it off. I would only change this result processor if I need to flip it to someone else and I will not close that one. However, if I'm done with that, then I'll go ahead and set this to closed. I'm gonna go ahead and save it here. And I actually have the ability to refresh results, so I actually wanna go ahead and see my re results list refresh. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this, since we put in our findings and activities. And then you'll have noticed, up here in the, up towards the top here, I'm gonna move my mouse up here to the top. You're gonna to see that the open queue now is at zero right, I've, I've closed it. So now the result that I have completed, our, our number just upticked from eight to nine because I've completed it, there are, I've closed it, there are findings added to it, and there are results that have been in this um, result coming back, right? So if, if we're looking at it in our perfect world, the closed completed is where we want all roads to lead to, however, we have the ability to decipher in this window what's open and pending results. You know, and that, that's basically anything we're kind of waiting on. The open, where results have received, been received, and now we need to go ahead and put in findings and whatnot with it. Uh, and then those closed categories are, are, are kind of a checks and balances for you guys as the practice to be able to, to manage that. Now, before we end this here, I also want to show us a little bit this concept of results and orders also happens in the order entry. So if I go down here to the EMR, I'm gonna open this, I have the same patient open here in the EMR, okay? So we're on this patient test in the upper right corner. You see that I'm on patient test. And then I am right now in the order entry chart tab. You'll see on the right hand side here, order entry. So when in, normally in order entry, if we go up to the top here, to the history. I'm gonna to flip to the history view. We, can, we also have the orders and results. So what this means is at this point, we're looking specific to this patient. Are there open results for this patient? Are there completed results? That's what's gonna give us that concept. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this here. And now I can go ahead and see that that the order that we had completed there, that result has been completed. So the concept of orders, right? We can see all the past orders just like normal. This is the original view. You can still see the results in those little graph icons right there, as well as the findings with that check mark. But then you also have the ability to see this in the results format, which in the results will show us, again, those same buckets, but now it's specific to the patient. So the differentiator between the order entry history and looking at the results here versus the my task is over here in the left hand side in the my task these results are practice wide or maybe just for my user right so depending on what your role is in the practice you're seeing all of them or just the ones that are specific to you the concept in the EMR in the order entry history this is specific to a specific patient. So that's the, at a high level, the big difference between the my task list and the order entry history. So in short, this is the new results screen. You know, this should not alter the workflow too much. It's now a, a new bucket, which gives better visibility um, specific to the practice when it comes to processing results. So orders go out like normal, you'll close those and process them. Now as results are coming back, then that's when you're gonna go ahead and work them from the results status. Thank you all.
and uh, we look forward to connecting with you guys.